Working from home used to be an exception, but now it's quite common to hear that someone is in their home office. If you want to do so but have no idea how to go about searching and applying for a remote job, keep watching this video. Hi, my name is Maya and today I'm going to go over what industries most commonly offer remote jobs, where to look and how to tailor your CV when applying for them. But first, before you go ahead planning for a remote job, you should know exactly what you're in for. And what you need to watch out for here is self-discipline. Just because you're working from home doesn't mean you'll be working from the comfort of your bed. Actually, you will be expected to take part of many meetings, maybe even with the camera on. Here, you may need to set up a designated workspace that allows you to sit down and focus. And don't forget that you will be expected to have great internet connection. And though working remotely could mean having a more flexible schedule and being able to work from wherever you feel like, that may not always be the case. Depending on your company policy, there may be restrictions on when you're expected to be online and available. Following that, you could only be allowed to work in a specific time zone or region. So be sure to read the fine print on such rules. Finally, one last thing to expect is that having a hybrid job and not a totally remote job is the most common setup you'll find. This means companies may allow you to do home office, but they might still expect you to come into the communal office space a couple of days per week. All right, now that you have a clear vision of what to expect of remote jobs, you need to know what industries offer them. These are the work sectors that have the highest percentage of remote employees. Data analysis and entry, customer service, computer and IT. But you'll also find many openings in these sectors too. Banking and finance, education, human resources, health and wellness, arts and entertainment, marketing, and even in pharmacology and medical science. And here I mean specifically as medical writers and researchers. So if you're sure that you want to have a remote job, your best chances are probably with a degree or experience in those fields just mentioned. Now it's time for the job hunt. Well, first, if you have a company in mind that you know offers remote jobs, then go ahead and connect with them. And even if they don't have any open listings, don't be shy. You should contact their HR or recruitment team. Worst case scenario here is that you've shown initiative and motivation, which will be a great first impression once there is a job opening. And you could also ask to connect with the recruiter through LinkedIn, because a big part of job seeking is in fact networking. You can do so through job fairs and conferences, either online or in person. And though you may not be able to work in this person's company, they may lead you to similar job opportunities or companies, and that will help you get an idea of what the market and industry is like, leveling up your insight. Speaking of LinkedIn, you can search for jobs there and filter for remote opportunities. The same goes for almost all job seeking websites, Indeed, StepZone, Remote OK, and Virtual Vocations. And in the meantime, you can try out being a freelancer with websites like Upwork, Freelance, or Toptal. Here, you can advertise yourself, set your rates, and choose which projects to take on to see if working remotely and independently suits you. But of course, with any job you do, you need to make sure you are presenting yourself in the best light. When it comes to setting up your CV and cover letters for remote jobs, highlight if you've had any previous remote experience. That way, employers know that you're capable of handling work tasks on your own and that you're comfortable with it. If you don't have any previous remote experience, that's all right, just make sure to focus on your soft skills as well as your hard skills. The ideal candidate is not only self-disciplined, but an efficient communicator too. Time management is very important as well, and so is enthusiasm, so try to convey why you're happy to start working remotely and how doing so will increase your productivity. Include your past successes in coordinating and collaborating on projects with employees or clients in different locations. What programs and softwares have you used? Are you comfortable with Microsoft Teams or Slack? Being comfortable with technology is the most important skill when it comes to remote working. One final step you may need to practice for is the online interview. Hopefully after appropriately presenting yourself for a remote job, you will have many interviews to prepare for. Other than checking the internet connection before your interview to make sure it isn't glitchy or choppy, it would help to practice how you're planning to answer questions. And here's my special tip for you. Any fantastic first impression always starts with eye contact that shows you're engaged. So it will take some practice, but I guarantee your employers will be impressed if you direct your answers to their questions at your camera. This will make them feel as if you're directly looking at them. Not only does it show that you're comfortable with technology, but also that you've put in the effort to prepare such a skill. I hope these tips help you find the remote job of your dreams. Finding a job, be it on location or online, is never easy, so please remember to take it easy on yourself. The best opportunity is sure to be coming soon. Just keep on trying. Thank you so much for watching and good luck.